Hello and welcome back to our exercise tracker tutorial. I apologize for the... oh, this is the second video, so if you're joining us here you may want to look at the link for the full playlist in the video description, so you can start at video number one. If you have seen video number one, I apologize for the abrupt end. I couldn't find the block we were meant to add, so I panicked. Um, <laughs> this is my first App Inventor project too. So, you know, we're, we're all learning together. So, along with the your classic blocks that are on the left, you also see all of the components you have put in the designer view. So, in that case, we want an event that is related to the button. So, everything that is pertaining to button is going to be here. So, or, it, so the block we want is this one, right? When button one dot click. Uh, but there's another or equally simple way of finding this, so you can just like pick that up, sorry, just pick it up, drag and drop, classic, or backspace to, to delete blocks, or you can double click on the background and, can I? And just start typing, you don't have to double click actually, you start typing on the background and you can find the block you want there. So if I want like a if, if then else, you know, there's a bunch of them like that. So if you guess you don't know, you can just start typing and see. So we need to add a when button one. Oops. Yeah, it's in here, right? All right. When button one click, the first thing you'll need is create a local variable to store the text box value in. To store the text box value, just not in. There's no, no need to put in here. Um, thank you, Spitfire Audio. Grab the initialized local name two block variables. Those are the, I'm going to call that orange. I'm not very good with colors. Um, local variable to start in the text box, so this one, this orange one, and start into the when button click, and then in where it says names, we're going to type mins. So it's variables, that shade of orange, and initialize local name, and you just slot it in here. And here you can put, uh, what do you say it was? Mins for minutes. Excellent. Take out a text box dot text block and attach it to the initial local means block to see what's stored in the text box. Right, so we want to grab the text, so that's what's going to be in here, text box dot text. You can access, by access I mean like grab the value, right, of all of the attributes of any of the components you have by just finding the relevant block. So this this one, and just like you can you can read it or you can also write to it with the corresponding set thing. So when the button one is clicked, this is going to initialize uh, local variable minute and set its the value of minute to the text attribute, the content, if you will, of text box one. Excellent. Hmm. Now that we've retrieved this information, we're going to create a list to put it in because we want to record not just the latest exercise session but many of them, and we're going to sum the total in minutes. So this is a global this time, so the same type of block, but you'll notice it looks a bit different. Um, the reason being is that a global is global, so that's a bit tautological. If you set a global variable, it's going to be accessible, you can read its value from anywhere else, because it's global, right? It's kind of not quite universal, but certainly spans the whole globe, as opposed to local variable, which are only accessible, you can only read the value, so in that case mins, right, that new local variable, you notice when I hover, it gives me the various options to access. So I can only get or set values of mins within the um, what is wrapped by, this is called the scope, you know, wh wherever, so here it tells me like, this is this, this, this red thing, this error here, um, that I'm trying to access a local variable outside of the scope of this variable. Don't worry about this too much for the time being, but a global is not the same as a local. Let's just delete that block and start and, and, and do our list. So global name, we're going to create a, was it an empty list probably? Um, and what was it called? Mins or sessions or minutes list? Uh, you'll notice, that's a helpful one to have, if you have more than one word, if you're variable, you start in, in lowercase because reasons, um, but if you get more than one word in your in your variable, we use what's called camel case, so that uh, because it looks like a, a camel, the, there's the hump in the middle, um, so the head of the camel is kind of small and low because it's in lowercase, and then whatever words are after that start with an uppercase, so you can immediately read because that's just easier to read because like this this makes it difficult to read because it's all one word, whereas here. We can see that, yeah, that's the beginning of the word. And the re and we don't want, 
an uppercase here because classes and objects get an uppercase but variables don't. It's a sort of naming convention of in this instance Java. You may have heard about Java, the programming language. This app inventor is, is based on Java, so that's where it comes from. That was a, that was needlessly technical for 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 coded ninjas, but if you're a little bit find out a little bit more about this you'll find it. So th there's a in there's a list block called I item to list where we're going to plug in the list and the item. Now we're going to add that within the scope of our in our local variable block. And then we're going to attach two things to here, like the list that we, to which we want to add, which were minute list. So to get that we hover over the name. I've done that earlier a minute ago. We ho you hover over the name and you can get grab the get or the set. And then we we do the same with mins. So once we're done within there it should add item to the list it should add the value of the add, add the value of minutes into the list minutes list which is a global so let's have a, let's go and do that so in list boom it's the third one add item to list you'll notice it it looks like that because it plugs in with a before and an after like that then i hover over hover over Minutes list to grab my get block, get global minutes list. That's that goes into here for the list part, and then here for the value, the item, we're gonna get the minutes. And this means that I don't know if I can test this in the designer, but if I just like type 15, uh, uh, no, well, um, we'll find that we'll find out about this later. Um, that's it for part two. Um, or indeed part video number two, but still in part one, which is the, the one after the introduction, which was track recording exercise. And then we're going to calculate the total in the next video. See you very shortly.